Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll show you how to enable NVIDIA DLSS in your games if you're playing on your Steam Deck, Steam OS. Because um, if you're wondering why you need to do that, it's because if you're playing with FSR 3.0 frame generation mod on to improve the performance, you get this ghosting and UI flickering effect. And if you want to get rid of it, you might want to turn on DLSS in your game, but that's not available on your Steam Deck. I'll show you in a minute. So I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy on my Steam Deck. I'll show you the settings. It's currently running at a 30-ish 40 frames, as you can see. And the settings. Uh, display options, windowed, 1280 by 720, FSR 2, FSR 2 quality, and then VSync off. Uh, motion blur is off. Depth of field off. Chromatic aberration on and film grain off. If you go to graphics options, it's on recommended settings. So medium. I think it's all, all on medium. So yeah, 30 ish, 40 frames. Pretty standard. If you want to boost this, you, there's a mod out called FSR 3.0 frame generation. So it enables FSR 3.0 on your game. The mod. So let me show you how it's done. Let's go to our desktop. So this mod is by Luke FC. It's a paid mod as of now. You need to join his Patreon to download this mod. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, which is me, Growing Up Cooking. Growing Up Cooking is a secondary channel of mine. It's dedicated to easy to make cooking recipes. So if you like gaming, you like cooking and you want to sponsor me, go over there and subscribe to the channel. I'll give you a sneak preview right now. Are you ready? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Oh god, they put the sauce in. Ooh. Mm. So did you enjoy that? If you want to watch the full video, go over to Grown Up Cooking. Links in the description and subscribe to that channel. So let me show you the mod in action. This is how you install it. So you need to locate your game folder. It's normally on Steam Apps, Common, Hogwarts Legacy. And then inside, go to Phoenix, Binaries, Win64. Here is where we're going to put our mod files. So this is the mod files. Look FC mods. I'm going to use the latest version as of recording, 0.7.3. And we're going to use the 220.zip. So this one. Extract these onto the file, the folder that I just told you about. The Phoenix Binaries Win64 folder. Okay, done. Then there's also a file called Enable Fake GPU. This tricks the game in thinking that we're using a nvidia card the 4090 card it works on pc but on steam deck you need to do something more okay but just do it for now and then we also need to put this file dxvk.config into the game folder as well so i'm going to make a copy here but all these files make sure you put them into the phoenix binaries win64 folder and for the game, you need to launch it. You need to launch this winmm.dll. So you need to tell it to do that. Go to library, go to your game, and then properties in the launch options, paste this. So the win, sorry, the wine DLL overrides. I'll leave this in the description so you can copy and paste it. Okay, so let's just run the game. I'll show you like what it's like so we should be able to run this with the fsr3 mod on but we haven't like enabled dlss yet see see that that's the mod window that means that the mod is booting up
Okay. Let's put into our game. So the mod should be enabled. I'm not going to change any settings, but you don't have FPS counter. So you can see when I turn the camera, you see the ghosting on the character. Yeah, that means that the mod is on. And if you go to my settings, if you go to my settings, display, upscale type, we can't choose NVIDIA DLSS, even though we use that fake NV GPU thing, doesn't work. We need to do more for the Steam Deck. Okay, and the settings is the same. Uh, performance is better, but I get that ghosting effect. So let's try to remove it. Okay, I'm going to enable DLSS right now. Okay, let's turn off the game. Stop it. Okay, to do that, you need to download another mod. I'll leave a link in the description. It's this one. The zip file. And inside the zip file, there's an enable signature override.reg. Extract that to somewhere, you know, you can find. I'm going to put it into my downloads folder. Okay, and then run Proton Tricks. Select Hogwarts Legacy. So this was actually brought to me by my friend Crowland. Shout out to you, Crowland. He's told me a different method. I think um, Cryobyte33, the creator of Cryo Utilities. He showed him how to do it. It's you have to put more code in. Okay, so select the default wine prefix first. Run reg edit. Registry import registry file. Go to my downloads folder. I'm gonna select enable signature override dot reg. Okay, then you get this uh, window it says that the keys and values contained were successfully added to the registry. Okay. Okay. So yeah, th there's another method where you add more code to force the game to read that registry, I think. So you can use, but for Hogwarts Legacy, you don't need that. So let me just go back into gaming mode to show you how to remove the ghosting. But uh, shout out to Crowland and Cryobyte33 for showing me that different method, because I think in future for other games that I'm going to test out, I think that method's going to like help me out a bit. Uh, but for Hogwarts Legacy, you don't need to put that code in. So I'm not going to show it in this video. Maybe in a later video with a different game, I might show you what's that code that um, Crowland and Cryobyte33 showed me. Okay, so same thing. I'm just going to boot the game up now in gaming mode. So now I've got the FSR3 mod on. It's enabled, copied all the files. And then I've added the launch options to run it. You should see the mod window pop up any minute now. Yep, right now. So the mod is on. And I've also enabled um, DLSS. I've done that reg edit thing. I've enabled DLSS. So let's take a look, see if we can get, a, get that ghost thing away. Okay, now we're going to boot into the game. So let's try it out. I hope it works. Okay, you can see we still got that ghost thing. We haven't changed any settings. So yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let me fly around. Yep, same thing. 60-ish frames right now. 50-ish, 60. And the ghost thing's still here. Now let's go into our settings go to our settings display you can see under upscale type we got nvidia dlss so we can actually use dlss now so let's select it okay and make sure you don't move this don't move the upscale sharpness because it'll crash the game i've done it before so don't do anything just let it be just let it be all right you can turn on frame generation and uh, reflex low latency and video reflex low latency if you want yeah let's just turn it on okay and then you can see graphics options still the same on recommended the medium 
Okay, now you can see I don't have the ghosting effect. But like the graphics is different. You can see see the graphics. It's like it's got this. I don't know how you describe this. It's like a different art style. <laughs> like a different art style. So yeah, it fixed the ghosting, but um it gave me another problem, I think. Yeah, I think it's like, I think the graphics is different now. But uh, yeah, I don't have the ghost thing. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. So it fixed one problem, but it created another. But uh, yeah, it might help on other games. So this is just Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, I think this method might be useful if you want to enable DLSS on your game. So yeah, that's why I want to show you guys how it's done. It's, it's like a different art style. Like, like I prefer the, the original one, but yeah, it's like a different art style. And it's running very smooth. But yeah, I'll leave it here. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.